In the past few weeks, we've told you about teenagers charged with adult crimes. Law enforcement say it's an alarming pattern. Investigators tell us this life of crime is sometimes learned at home. WCBI's Quentin Smith has more on that. When I got arrested and locked up for this, for this charge, uh, I lost my family, my children, my wife, my job, my house. I lost everything. Anthony Price has been locked up at the Clay County Jail for six months now. He's accused of assaulting a law enforcement officer. I was trying to do the right things in life. I was, I had done straight my life up. I had been sober for a while and then stress got to me and I started doing what I was doing and caught this charge. Price says he regrets that decision because his jail time is keeping him away from his seven children. They've lost their dad. They lost everything. I mean, their mom is having to take, take it on her own. It's tough. Price has only talked to his kids once since he's been locked up. Clay County Sheriff Eddie Scott says when kids grow up seeing their parents in and out of jail in a broken home, it becomes easy for the kids to follow a similar path. We're seeing more and more of it. Uh, more juveniles are being arrested and charged with crimes uh, anywhere from shoplifting to robbery. So it's getting to be a pattern that's really alarming to law enforcement. Law enforcement say breaking the jail cycle can be tough. A child has got to be taught. Um, you can't just put them on the street and let them learn on their own, and I think we've been seeing a whole lot of that. We've got to get back to the basics of raising our kids. The sheriff says ending generations of kids in jail takes a community effort, including schools and churches, but ultimately it starts in the home. Kids need to be involved, and they need to be involved in something that's educational and, and getting them ready, you know, to become an adult. This ain't where they want to be. This ain't life for nobody. Again, that was our Quentin Smith reporting in the past two weeks. Three teenagers, all under the age of 15, have been arrested and charged as adults. That, again, was our Quentin Smith reporting.